Welcome to Offstage Live, Music at the Museum, coming to you from the galleries of the North Carolina Museum of Art in Raleigh. Presented with UNC TV and Come Here and See, this musical series showcases North Carolina bands that represent our state's rich musical landscape. As the State's Art Museum, we are proud to feature a wide range of art and artists inside our galleries and in our museum park. The artists you'll enjoy today share their stories through music. Join us now from the North Carolina Museum of Art in celebrating their sound and supporting their work. that alalaki it's like the school when you first go to school the first letter you learn in from school is a kora like that that's the first song you learn in about a kora when you start to play kora we call that alalaki i hope you guys enjoy it
kill my man. He had a suit like my man. Say, Bonnie. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. The song we're about to play, I wrote this song the day I met my, the day I buried my mom. It was hard for me because I don't know, I don't believe I can bury my mom like that and walk away, go home. It's very sad. She taught me so many things. And I know she's the one who brought me this world. And she worked so hard for me. She gave me a lot of confidence. And she taught me so many things. And I miss her a lot. She used to tell me, Jelly, no matter where you go, no matter where you went, 
Keep peace always with you. Don't let anybody take peace from you. And she's the one who tell me about also when you have a band, call it Kairaba. So when I moved to America, I give hard time my wife about to find band for me. She was saying, no, I can't. It's hard. I don't know any musician. I said, you better be fine musician because I need it. If you want me to stay in America, I have to play music. If you don't want, I'm going back home to play music. The day come, I'm lucky. I met this guy. And they changed my life about, you know, being a musician a lot. And this song, when I'm playing by myself with this song, I can control myself. But when I'm playing with Kairaba, my heart cry a lot. Because I know my mom going to appreciate this song a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Mama, 
a belle maman. Ablaye maman, Anna belle maman. Salut maman, pour salut maman. Kalayoula y est mon Oh maman, maman. Tu maman, cube, cube, maman. I'd like to give a big thank you to everybody here at the North Carolina Museum of Art and this wonderful crew from UNC TV. It's been a total pleasure. Um, and we're also really grateful to have the support of Come Here and See for this series. And um, we just couldn't be more delighted to be here with you all tonight. Uh, this next song is going to feature Gabriel Pelli on guitar. You were also just hearing, of course, Jelly Keba Sisoho all the way from Pittsburgh, North Carolina by way of Embor, Senegal. On percussion, Will Radenauer. Behind the drums, Austin McCall. My name is Jonathan Henderson, and this next song is called Alaji.
Thank you so much. The song we're about to play, I wrote this song when I moved to America. The day, every day when I wake up, my wife, she's ready when to work. She's working all day. I'm by myself home. I'm lonely. I don't speak any English. I don't have a friend, you know. I don't know where to go. So I'm sitting home playing my kora by myself. Sometimes when I'm tired playing kora, I pick up my phone, call my sister, my young sister. Because when my mom passed away, no, I don't have anybody who can take care of my sister. And she's very young. When I decide to move to America, it's hard for me to tell her I want, I'm moving to America. Because I don't, ha I don't know how to say, talk to her, I'm moving to America. But when I'm ready to tell her I'm moving, she say, you know what, go, don't worry. But please, do not forget home. Do not forget about us. And anytime when I'm sitting by myself in an apartment, I wrote this song. When I don't talk to her on the phone, I start to play this song by myself. I say, I'm singing, saying, Jabu, I will never forget you. You sound like my mom. I will never forget you. And I'm always be there for you, no matter what. Sometimes I sing and Wolof, I say, Mang in you legi legi damin, I'm coming soon for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. Peace.
Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. The song we're about to play, we call that Talibé. And uh, sometimes I like uh, to tell about what is mean this song. I born there, I experienced that, and I used to be go that kind of school, but I like Jonathan to tell you guys about this song, because he already experienced them, that, and then them, when they was in Africa, Senegal with me, they experienced with these kids I'm singing about Talibi. They used to buy candy for them, they treat them very nicely, they spend time with them, they play soccer with them. So I like he can tell a little bit about his experience with the, the kids. Thanks.
Yeah, so when we were all together in Senegal on a few different trips as a group, um, there were always groups of kids hanging around in Jelly's neighborhood, and we would just kick it with these kids. And it was through talking with Jelly, you know, that I came to understand more about how Senegal, it's a very multi-ethnic, very multi-religious place, but Sunni Islam is the main, sort of the primary religion. And the, the Murid Brotherhood is the largest kind of denomination within uh, Sunni Islam in, in, in Senegal. And uh, the sort of student-teacher relationship is really important there. So it turns out that marabous or spiritual leaders will take on children to live with them um, when their parents can't, don't have the resources to, to care for them. So um, these groups of, of children will live with their spiritual teacher, will, will study the Quran. And in many instances, it's a really, you know, wonderful opportunity for these, these young people to live um, a spiritual life and live among friends and peers. And in other cases, you know, these marabous have been known to sort of take advantage of the situation and make money on, on the backs of these kids. And so Jelly, as he often does in his songs, is sort of lending a moral um, through this song, which is to remind these spiritual teachers of their responsibility to take good care of these children. And they're all precious and worthy of, uh, you know, being treated with dignity and respect. So. That's what the song Tally Bay is about. Yeah. 
Jadi Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This song we about to play. I wrote this song also too because I experienced this song. That's the reason why I wrote this song. Mean to me a lot when I moved to America. I can't believe people gonna treat me like that because my skin. Some people. I still, I say, I don't think so I can survive here. Because how things going. It's very scary. And then I don't want to build my family here. Because I'm scared of the future tomorrow. Because they're black and white. Beautiful color. But how people treat other people, that's no nice. I experienced that with the police guy, white, treat me like I'm nothing because my skin. And I went home. <coughs> I tell my wife, she was crying. She, 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 first thing she said to me, I'm sorry. I say, it's not your fault. I understand. Bad people, they everywhere. Good people, they everywhere. I understand. And I started to wrote this song that night. I can't sleep. How to police treat me, that make me, I can't sleep. That's why I wrote this song. The next day is rehearsal. I went rehearsal. I say, hey guys, listen to this song. And then I was singing it. They write in all this piece you, you're going to hear. We start to play this song. Basically, it's talking about the peace and how people should treat other people. Because it's can. Sometimes people are wrong about that. White people acting. I'm better than black people. Black people acting, I'm better than white people. That's the point I don't understand. Because you scan, that's why you better? You're wrong. Big mistake. What is the important part? Like what my mom used to tell me is about the heart. Sometimes, uh, this is what I always tell my band, I tell them about, thinking about this. Why they keeping people who, a lot of people who give the donation in the hospital, their kidneys, their heart. Say, when I die, I want you guys to keep that, to give somebody to survive. Do you know that people, it's a black or white, you don't know. And they give you that heart. So what matter? Skin or heart? Skin is nothing. It's a piece of sand. Everybody should understand that. Let's respect each other and love each other and care to each other. Let's go peace. Oh, no, no. 
moy sen dole mbono moy sim dole xolal sama der bu ñuul xolal yow der bu wéx ana lu ko fi jaar nañ leen bokku ndaye bay jema japp sunu ba jema di malal des people yoromé people africa people america let's get together no matter who you are no matter where you're from we don't need no more fights my people let's get together so one thing that make me worry one day i was driving around with my son and then we come home the next day we went to go to store on the car 
I'm with him, five years old, black and white. He told me, Daddy, I say yes. He said, these people, they don't like me. I said, why? He said, because my color, they don't like my skin. I tell him, if they don't like you, I still like you. You matter to me. Don't listen to them. Don't even think about them. Thinking of who you are, thinking yourself. You have a beautiful skin. You always be beautiful. Five years old, ready you know these people they don't like him because his color. Come on, America, wake up. Peace. We're so lucky to be playing here for everybody tonight. We got one more song for everybody. The last one we're going to do is called Harit. Harit is a word in Wolof. It means friendship. And um, this song goes back to, for us, 2016. In 2016, the whole band, we went to Senegal working on our third album called Roots. We began recording the music here in, the U in uh, North Carolina, and we continued overdubbing in Senegal with a lot of different musicians. Then we brought those recordings back here to North Carolina and finished them up. And uh, while we were there, so we were kind of busy during the day, I think it was seven days in a row, working in the studio all day at a hotel that we rented out. And... Um, then we would come home from a long day's work, be kind of tired, um, at Jelly's compound, and, uh, which he shared with his brother, who is a wonderful chord player and also a um, professional musician, as well as pretty much everybody in Jelly's family. Everybody sings, dances, or plays an instrument, or some combination of all, all three. Um, so we would basically, we would play music all day, recording, and then we would come home, play music all night, just having fun. And it was one of our favorite times there. And um, it, it would be dark, there would be animals around in a, this kind of concrete compound, and people would, somebody would be making tea, this really strong, beautiful tea called Ataya. And um, so Jelly's brother Yusufa, he would just begin, begin playing a song, and Sometimes one or two people would join in with him. And so he started playing the song called Hadi. And it's about his friends and about how much he misses his friends when he had to move to a new home. And he realized, oh my God, I miss my friends. They're everything to me. I feel kind of empty. And um, so he would sing the verse. The verse just consisted of, of the names of his best friends. And then when the chorus came around, all these people came out of the these doors, I didn't even know these doors were there, different rooms, the house, the kitchen, the storage room, and to sing the chorus. And all of a sudden, this song just got lifted up so high in the air. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I got chills. And we, we said, hey, Jelly, do, do you know how to play this song? 
You want to play it when we get back to the U.S.? And Jerry was like, of course, man. I can play that song. And so when we got back to the United States, we, um, we started developing this song, which we're going to play for you right now. It's sort of an acoustic song, um, and it's about the importance of friendship. And Jelly sings about his best friends uh, and about how tough it was to move to the United States, leaving his culture, leaving his fan friends and family, um, and talking about how important that is to him. So this song is called Hadith, and it means friendship. Thank you. Yeah. 
and law. Thank you, guys.